What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Zillia 2 video. Last time we did Jude's fourth side story, which uh, led us to meeting up with Celsius again. And uh, it was kind of a to-be-continued kind of story to be finished off in Jude's uh, Chapter 5 episode. So whenever we get around to that, I suspect after the next like main chapter, uh, we'll definitely get around to doing that. We have one more side story to do. And then we are going to... We already have the money we need to pay off the next uh, payment. We have more than enough. So we're going to go ahead and do that after this side story. And then I believe that's it for side stories for right now. I think it's just this one in La Ronde, which looks like it's going to be Elise related. Uh, but yeah, so let's do this Elise story. And then we'll... Uh, depending on how long this one is, we'll either continue the main story this time or next time. We'll... By the time you've clicked on the video, you probably know uh, before I do. Here, let's see. There's only at least chapter three, so at least still has two more to do. Hey, did you hear the big news? The Chancellor of Olympias is here in Laronde. How convenient. What's she doing visiting Laronde? She's on a goodwill tour of the realm to interact with the Rize. Oh, I think I remember this one. And pig out on tasty food, I hope. If she gets a taste of Warwick's cooking, she'll never want to leave. Now, speak of the devil. We've got an emergency. The Chancellor's group has been attacked. What? If only Sonya had stayed at the lodge. Warwick, calm down and tell me exactly what happened. The Chancellor had planned to eat at the lodge, but then a group of Olympians burst in and grabbed her. They spirited the Chancellor away and said they'd kill her if we didn't meet their demands. Exodus is behind the attack. They're demanding freedom for members captured in the Palloon incident. Why won't they just give up already? We have to save the Chancellor. We spotted them fleeing into the old Vakal mine. Okay. We're in a race against time here. So I think that's the mine to the right when you exit. Sorry for all these calls. But if I don't get your money, I'll get a pink slip. Yeah, sure, I'll pay it bit by bit. Sometimes I wonder how you can call me a friend. Alright, um... That was kind of rude, I just, like, <laughs> closed it off. Uh... Let's bring someone we haven't brought in a while. You know what, let's bring Alvin. Alvin hasn't been in the party much lately. That should be good to have another melee character with us. Oh, but before we go, we spent a lot of items in those last two back-to-back -back boss fights, so... Plus, we, we will have some extra cash, so... Unfortunately, this shop doesn't have, uh... Are you joking? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pay it off. Because I don't want... I don't want her to keep doing this. Um... So it is going to show us the next story part right here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, 120,000? Yep. All right. I haven't been any help to you at all. I'm so sorry, Luger. I love how she was just like, you can't pull a fast one on us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I get it's not going to give us the story bit until after we finish this side story. Okay, that makes sense. So literally, as it finishes, we're probably going to get a, uh, a call. Funny how we're going around doing all this stuff when we just left a uh, little L behind. So, yeah, that's the Felgana mine. So up here should be the, uh, the other one. It's like a chicken Paul Wiggle. It's called a peep it. May as well. Why do they always want it the hard way? I feel more. Uh, because doing things the easy way isn't their style, I guess. 
Oh, it's another big one. We could probably save the money from... Oh my god, hello! Well then. What level are these guys? Alright, around us. It may they may also be around us because we're in a side story. Not bad. I mean we'd have to see once we finish it. Who's next? Not only was it a back attack, but it was also an encounter link, so tons more enemies. We're in this together. Couldn't be much more. That was a job well done, Rowan. Here's a reward for you. Oh, this is heavenly. I can die happy like this. Wait, what? He doesn't actually mean it. Oh, we should probably give Rowan and uh, Alvin some better alamorbs. What does Rowan have on? He only has a two one on. Ultimate Glacier. Sure, let's give you Lightning and Hail. You're fine. And then let's give you one of the bottom ones as well. Sure, that'll work. All right, let's see how strong this guy is. Oh no, you're just a regular enemy. Okay. You look way bigger. Kaboom. I keep getting I feel more enlightened. Getting all those extra skills and everything is always nice. You're gonna hit me with the back attack, aren't you? I'm just gonna turn around! Yeah. Thought you could get a fast one on me, huh? I do want to save some money, because if there are any other Fractured Dimensions we end up going into, I want to see if I can get some better weapons. Yay, we did it! We're the best! Because that would always be good. Oh, uh... They weren't with me, so... That should be good. The mine is just up ahead. like to do battle? Oh, 
don't really like energy shackles too much. Uh, falling snow, we already have that on. Whirling assault, no. Hunting phoenix. Okay, I like that one. Oh, healing circle will be nice. Ten K XP though is pretty nice. Oh, here we go. Chancellor, thank goodness you're safe. It's you. I somehow managed to slip away in the confusion. But my colleagues weren't so lucky. They're still being held. I understand the culprits are Olympian? I'm afraid so. Remnants of Exodus. I see. Chancellor, please allow the Rize Maxian government to handle the rescue. May I ask, why do you have children with you? Excuse you? Everyone here is part of the team. Team? Wait, don't tell me you intend to involve them in the rescue operation. Hey you, don't sell Elise short! I am fully capable of helping. The young miss is a gifted spirit arts user. She is a great asset to Rizemaxia. Elise. Well, it is not my place to second guess you. But these terrorists place little value on human life. Please be careful. We will. Don't worry. Well, hey, incoming tech. Well, hey, incoming Wait, tech. Wait, that's well, hey, the ringtone that I gave tech. to Luna. Well, hey, incoming tech. Well, hey, incoming no way, girl. Well, hey, incoming tech. Well, hey, Elise's incoming pen pal well, hey, is Chancellor Marcia. Tech. How about that? Ah, uh, King Gaius. Yes, Your Majesty. I am safe. Guys, may I just make I'd a like phone call? That your Prime Minister Ilbert is about to give those terrorists what for. Well, that's a shock. Are you okay with this plan? Yes. Leave everything to us. <laughs> Elise's pen pal all along was the Chancellor. Uh, what do we got down here? Anything of importance? Probably not. Let's just grab this. Take a little extra cash. Chancellor Marcia. No, we can't be. Who's next? And boom. We saw. And boom. We never miss our mark ever. I feel more unlike guess who just got Everyone's getting new arts. Let's take a gander. We must save the people. Hello there. Come on, say it. Hello there. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. What is the earth element? Gentle gnome, yep. So, 68, 69, that's where we're roughly at. 68. 67, 68. Oh, nice. So what was that one? It said Soba. 
Right? Soba omelet? Okay. Sure. May as well use one. We don't need the money right now, but who knows when we may need it later. No Who's next? Sorry about that. I feel more. I'll save you. Get us some reinforcements already. Marcia may have given us the slip, but we still have hostages. They hung up. Damn it. There goes our plan B. This is not good. Not good at all. Keep it together. You have one I'm hostage. I'm trying, but how long can we keep this up? If we don't figure this out, our captured comrades are as good as dead. They're comrades? Shall we? Oh God. We'll be taking those hostages, thank you. Over our dead bodies. Yeah, that's the idea, I guess. Oh. We must cut. Uh, yeah, let's worry about them victory. first. They have Spyrex. Be careful. Okay, that's kind of rude. Alvin heals over time, which is kind of cool. Or he was. Rowan, are the members of Exodus? All youngsters? Yes. They don't look like bad people to me at all. Yeah. I feel. Are they just like forced into this? You've lost. Do the noble thing and release your hostages. Damn it. We failed. Why would you do this? Our comrades, they're going to be executed. We couldn't just let them die. You did it for your friends? And we lost. Please, make our deaths quick, I beg of you. No one's going to kill them. Right, Rowan? Rowan's the Prime Minister of Riza Maxia. He won't let your friends die. I wish. It doesn't matter anyway. We'll be tried in Olympias. Huh? Olympians must face justice in Olympias, and Riza Maxians in Riza Maxia. Those are the terms of our treaty. Neither nation has any jurisdiction in the other's territory. And the penalty for terrorism in Olympias. His execution. But Chancellor Marcia would never allow that. She's gentle and kind. Yeah, don't worry. C can you promise we'll be spared? Oh God, this if is we not going to go surrender? well. We shall negotiate for you. Don't you worry. I know she'll understand. You guys were only looking out for your buddies. Yeah, but it's terrorism. <laughs> I doubt she'll give squat about that. But I don't have any fight left in me. We surrender. Rowan already knows. You can see it on his face. Let's just ask Elise, because... Are you sure about all this, Elise? The Exodus people are human beings just like us. They care about each other. Yeah, but they've killed people. Although, uh, I mean... Chancellor Marcia will understand that. Yeah. In any case, let's head back and meet with the Chancellor. The whole thing with this is, like, you can't... If Chancellor Marcia, like, actually is just like, oh yeah, you know, it's just like, they were just worried about their friends. Like, no, their friends got arrested in the first place because of the crimes they were committing. If she is so... Like, what's the word for it? I don't know what the right word for this is. If she's so understanding that she can just, like, let them off the hook like that, then she really shouldn't be Chancellor because that shows you have kind of a weak resolve. You know, you feel bad for these people. Yes, I get that. You know, they're kids, but... 
they've committed crimes. They are criminals. I don't know. It's <laughs> I could never be a leader like that, I'll tell you that much. Those are two hard decisions to be making. So each country has jurisdiction over its own citizens. I had no idea it worked that way. We're still quite far from our ideals, but little by little, we're putting things in order. When trying to get two different countries onto the same page, it's important that such rules be clearly spelled out. So is that your job? Studying the art of making friends? <laughs> That's certainly one way to put it. I use my decades of accumulated old man wisdom to try and make people get along with each other. Not too shabby for someone your age. So the more people get along, the happier everyone is. Well, no one's better at making friends than Tipo and I. Is that right? I'd be happy to see you try and prove it. You just watch. We'll make a hundred new friends. We'd better get to work on a strategy, Tipo. <laughs> As the Prime Minister of Rize Maxia, my job is studying the art of making friends. I can't help but envy the way those two see the world. <laughs> Yeah. What sure Rowan has to do is, uh, I mean, negotiation count. with Chancellor Marcia. Hmm. I'm sure he's had to do his, his share of, uh, dirty things, even, you know, since he became Gaius's, uh, right hand. But, uh, yeah, I really don't see no this. bounds to the might of this geezer. Hello there. Uh, it's not. It's definitely not going to go the way that Elise wants it to go. It would just be too simple that way. If every criminal who's oh, it was just human mistake, you know, even though tons of people have been murdered, what are you going to say to those people's families? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Gotta have some uh, reality check in here. You managed to trounce the terrorists. Elise, was it? Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine, Madam Chancellor. That's a relief. But I, uh, I wanted to know. Madam Chancellor. Dispose of the surviving terrorists. At once, ma'am. Dispose? What do you mean by dispose? A matter of Olympian justice, child. None of your concern. Oh, we're concerned! They were only trying to save their friends. <sighs> Chancellor Marcia, the terrorists surrendered of their own accord. I would think that merits leniency. Let's be clear. Is this an official request from the Prime Minister of Riza Maxia? Because such a request would certainly raise serious diplomatic issues. Oh boy. No, Madam Chancellor. That was not my intent. Laws exist for a reason. Ignore one, and we risk a descent into chaos. The government of Olympias does not show leniency to terrorists. But you're the Chancellor. You can do whatever you want. It is precisely because I'm the Chancellor that I must ensure justice is served. This is your cue to say something, Beardo. Unfortunately, showing leniency to terrorists often only leads to more acts of terror. History has shown this to be true. I made a promise to the Exodus members. A childish decision. <sighs> Chancellor, we're ready. All this excitement has pushed us way behind schedule. We must be going. This is horrible! How can you be so cold-hearted? Why? Why wouldn't she listen to me? I gotta be honest. I, I know on my first playthrough I, I chose that, but... I understand the Chancellor's position. Are you saying this is a grown-up thing? I don't get it at all. <sighs> Luna, I thought we were friends. Yeah, well, yeah, but... You can't just do what's gonna make your friend feel better if it's not the right thing to do, like... Yes, it sucks, you know, those Exodus members, specifically the ones we just dealt with, 
probably got, they're just kids, you know, they got forced into this, you know, probably didn't have a choice, maybe their family members were Exodus members, and that it was just something they didn't have a choice but to do, but you still have a choice, like, at any point, they could have decided it's not something they wanted to do, I mean, that doesn't mean they would have been allowed to walk away, but that's pretty much what it comes down to. If you're going to be in a government position, you know, you have to do what's right for your people. Because the whole thing comes down to... Alright, here we go. We've completed preparations in accordance with directions from President Bakor. Please make your way to the Spurious offices with all due haste. I'll be waiting for you. So be it. Mm-hmm. What does being a child or an adult have to do with friendship? I don't get Luna at all. Um, kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, oh, I know where I was going with it. So, let's say the Chancellor, you know, these specific Exodus members we just ran into. Let's say she let them off the hook. Then that leads to the whole thing, you know, okay, why wouldn't she just let them all off the hook? You know, you, you can't just, she couldn't just, like, do this for, I mean, realistically, because of Elise, I guess she still wanted to be honest about it. I was going to say she could have just lied to Elise. Like, they could have taken those exes members back and then, like, executed them later when Elise wasn't around because she is still a kid. But that would probably make things worse if Elise actually found out about it. Um, but yeah, it's like once you start making excuses for one thing, then you start making excuses for a lot of things. So it's best to just kind of always, you know, if you have morals, stick to them at all times. It doesn't matter if it's an enemy, a friend, a family member. You got to stick to your morals no matter what, which obviously is easier said than done. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for now. I think what I do want to do, though, let's head to Drellin real quick, because I want to make sure we're stocked up on everything before we start the next, uh, actual story chapter. But this will be the, uh, the end of the video. We'll grab what we need here. Oh my, something smells incredible. You haven't oh changed a bit. It's true, she hasn't. Um, item shop, where? I don't see an item shop at all in here. Is there really not, like, just a normal... Okay. Okay, not drilling then. Uh, sure. Let's see if Lakutum Sea Haven has a, uh... Has the newer items. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll, ju we'll just call it there then. So, next time we'll head to Spirius and see what's gonna go down there for the next... I think we're gonna be doing... What is it, chapter 14? Yeah, surely someone's found L by now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna be 14, and then, uh, so we're at like the second to last, uh, chapter? of the game, so we should be wrapping things up relatively soon, but there are a lot of characters still with side stories to do. So I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of stuff to do with that. But let's rest here, and then I will call it for the video. And the next time we'll start up on chapter 14 and see how that kinda goes. But uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.